it's Hot Rod Gabriel here. Ready to hot rod this monster train right down to the pyre. We're gonna be running this uh, combo here. I was having a little bit of struggles with it, but I think I'm starting to grasp it. Uh, but yeah, I got a lot to iron out here. I'm gonna try my best not to reload, because uh, I did actually re learn recently that there will be a no reload policy in the tournament, which I I am a fan of, but I will admit it scares me a bit. But you know, it's probably how it should be. Um, but yeah, so starting here, I will say, I might err, try to be a little more safer than usual in my play, not go so hard for score, just try to win, really. I feel like, I feel like a lot of people are gonna die, that's just my, my assumption here. You know, all it takes is one bad mistake and he runs over. Um, myself included. I mean, I might very well die. Perils, Molded, Gem Trove. I can actually... This sticks very similar to something I just lost on. <laughs> if I get offered Volatile Gauge, then I'll really know it's maybe something weird with the seed. I also got offered this. I need to go Stalwart. My good friend Narninian has let me know that Star Wars start is pretty legit with Primordium, or with the uh, Melting Remnant. We form that sucker. So there's no Volatile Gauge this time. I'm happy that it... But there was some Mind Jacks last time, I remember. Do I just do Mind Jacks or do I Vapor Funnel? I think Vapor Funnel's a little safer. Start is this, son. That's as bad as it could be. Oh, you know what? We're gonna have you die, I guess. I'll tell you what, though. Vapor funnel. Wrecking these fools. Wrecking these fools. Like, oh my god, do I have stewards in this deck? Are there train stewards in this deck? Because there are. Uh, might be time to show up. Might be time to. I guess we're just like not gonna play these because we gotta keep the reform pool clean. Dude, what the f boop, boop, boop. censored? Um, yeah, what the hell's going on here? Seriously, where the hell are my stewards? I kind of messed my deck up now by filling all this shit into it. There's my stewards. Alright, I need to keep the reform pool clean if I can draw a reform with all the damn morsels. Okay, good. I'm gonna have to do it up here. Jesus. I need to give you health. And there is nothing we can do here. We're pretty much fucked if we don't get plank. So, I guess it was a valiant effort or something? Blocks, so this will be good. All right. Ooh. Yikesy, yikesy. The hell is that RNG? Thank God for vapor funnel. That's probably the best vapor funnel you'll ever see. Um, hmm. Man, shit. Should I be adding anything to make it harder for me to draw a strange steward? Shit. I mean, I'll get a banner in it, of course, but. Hmm. I have this gem trove. I have this perils. I think I might do making up a morsel. Wouldn't that be too bad? I'm starting to come around on that card. This might not be horrible. Do that. Let's see what we got here. I, so I just did a run with the alloy, which I normally hate. I'm gonna do it again. It was super strong. Alloy freaking wrecked face. 
I had him with just 25 health and damage shield, but I had a pretty insane run. I might want... I don't know, it is the patient. Starting with damage shield would be pretty nice. I think another multi-strike would be preferable, though. Ask and ye shall receive, my friends. Ask and ye shall receive. Okay, uh, this song is a little bit repetitive, to say the least. Uh, can we get... Like, do these have to be 30 minutes long? What the hell? Okay, let's go... I had a San Francisco Rush OST on, and each of the tracks are 30 minutes. Jesus. Oh, let's do Rush 2, then, apparently. Alright. We're doing this, I'm pretty sure. That extra health will be happy we'll be happy to have it here. I know we're doing this turn now. Huh? Oh, why did I do that? Ah, uh, you know what, it'll probably be fine here. It will actually probably be fine here because I actually have like no more souls, so actually yeah, it's fine. way I could kill him. Well, I did say we should try not to uh, reload, so I do need it. It's actually good that I don't reload here because I need to get my muscle memory habits, whatever you want to call it, back to play where I really need to be careful about my turns, right? Like, that just kind of needs to happen. And I should have died there, I think. Okay, they're both dying. We should try here. Okay. Actually, it was fine, I think, to do the stalwart here. Yeah, last run I was able to feed him a lot more, uh, because I had like the thing where you kill a unit and you get two morsels. I'll have to really focus on adding uh, morsel generators, I think. Hmm. I should set up here because no sense if all these guys are here to do that. I should try to flank them. And get some damage in here. Yeah, let's get the flanks, try to get some of that. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to do this first, but I'm going to do this so that I can reform them. I was doing that a lot too in that last run. I'll just keep him out of the pool. Perfect. He's dead anyway. I wouldn't actually be able to play anything here, but uh, yeah, we could do this. Yeah. I already have two of them, don't need another. I don't think I need Immortal Trade. Prismal Dust, maybe. I think against their patience, it certainly could be welcome. I'm molded. I already got two. I don't think I need more. I took one Purifying Cleanse. I don't think I need another. What I need is Morsel Generation. That's what I need to focus on. So much so that I might even just... get that morsel thing I wanted though. Really what I'd really like is gem trove to be playable. If I can play that, I can sacrifice a lot of them for reform and whatnot. Let's go this route. patient, if I'm being honest. None of these. I feel bad. Everyone always is looking for this event, but I almost never take it, honestly. I will take the, uh, I will take the critters if I have a Merchant of Steel right there, but if not, it's just not worth it to me. It can be worth it sometimes, but 
I think I'm gonna stick to the plan here. Alright, this is Talos, the stunner. Oh, it's gonna be brutal. Alright. So, maybe there, there. I think I do need to do this plan. because she's going to be back up here. Bring you back. At least she can do some damage. Damn it. Ooh, six health. Seven. Damn, if I would have had the other one reformed. I should have thought about that. I think I had one, right? Yeah, I ate it instead of... I should have let that one die. Oh well, lesson learned. Keep you down here. It's gonna be a little bit brutal here, but at least luckily these guys don't do too much damage. The vapor funnel is gonna prevent so much damage here. I'm actually killing all of them. I can even bring this guy back. Actually, since I am killing them all, why don't I just do this? Vapor Funnel is just doing work this run. Like, holy hell. Yes, that's definitely supporting the Morsel plan. Ooh. It'd be hard to feed them both. <clears throat> it's my middle boss here. That version of hell. Hmm. It'd be hard to get Plinks off against that one. I feel like all I need is alloy. Doing anything else is just getting fancy. I'm gonna commit to it. I'm gonna commit to the alloy carry. If I can get two games in a row with him carrying, then I know he's pretty viable. I did pip the last time so I could feed him more. I think I did that, and then I, I did pip in a draw. I think I like that. We already got the steel upgrades on him, so let's go this route. We'd upgrade some clinks, get rid of some stewards. Permafrosting that wouldn't be horrible. Permafrosting this. I mean, I should be able to basically play this every time I see it in this deck. If, I'm, if I don't, I've done something wrong, I think. Yeah, maybe I didn't need to really permafrost anything, to be honest. Probably should have actually just been the. Uh, Purifying Cleanse. Oh well. Let's get this down to three so we can play it. Finally. Damn. Let's do this to another Plink. Let's get this down to two. Pretty much want to play that every time we see it. So should I now go to Aggressive? 
I think that's like the ideal, like two aggressive, one stalwart maybe. I also did full aggressive last time because I wasn't offered stalwart. Oh, I should have him die. Man, it's going to be a lot of damage. I'm just going to have to deal with it. I have to find some... This is... Uh, yeah, this will do. This will do. Okay, that will help. We need heart, health, and... As much as I'd like to keep the reform pool clean, I also do need to be able to take them back. Shroud, you know, shroud my ptosis. If I see it, I'll really want that. Alright, I'm taking everything out here. Damn, that would have been really good to hit that plink. Very hard to plink uh, against these things. But let's do our damnedest here. Got some, nice. This is the one we'll need to shroud my Tosis. Do this. That should definitely help. Tell you what, why don't we just do this and do this, get it into the reform pool. But I think I'm pretty good now that I got all that damage shield. Killing everything, nice. I can bring you back, make sure we're getting fuel. And I should do this. I don't think I want it to die anymore. So it can get rid of Ember Drain and stuff. Yeah, I'll do that and the melee weakness. That seems pretty good. And this boss, maybe. We could remove stealth or something. I might, I might need that. Let's see. All depends how everything kind of shakes out with the morsels I get. That's probably not hitting on anything. This, I don't actually think I want. I think I want it to have low. Well, hmm. do I want to do I want to just hold over perils? I feel like I might as well, right? Or should I get? Uh, I feel like making up a morsel as weird as that is. I think we do the perils on holdover. That's just like too good. Let's get this down to one. Let's just get rid of the steward here. Alright, hopefully I don't regret that. The thing is, putting perils in holdover kind of hurts my my uh what do you call it? All right, we'll give him rage, but I do want this thing to die. What was I saying? I need you to die one more time. Nice, good job on that collector. How many reforms are there coming up? I do, because it's going to die to the spikes anyway after the sweeper hits him, so just naturally can do some more damage here. Okay, they're dying. There's probably not much that would survive here. I mean, I should still do that anyway. Oh, shit. 
No, you're not dying now. Well then. Guess these are going in the reform pool. I can do this. Shroud my Tosis this. Leave this in case I don't get my other perils, which I don't think is hardly even possible, but let's see. Crazier things have happened. Alright, they're all dying. I guess him dying is fine, so I actually won't do this here. Let's do this, huh? Should have used this at that turn, I don't know why I didn't. It's like a truck, I guess. Another gem trove might not be bad. Can't really play it at the moment. Nah, not me anymore. And, uh, hmm. Open smoke is interesting. It's redundant with damage shield in a way, but. It doesn't necessarily look like I'm going to have enough damage shield to actually... S I'm going to take it just because I don't know how good my damage shield is. If I can't find damage shield morsels, I don't really have damage shield in this deck. It's very RNG reliant at the moment. Interesting. Well, we might as well do this. Just give ours... We basically just upgraded our code. Gem Trove is pretty good, isn't it? I like the Gem Trove. Just opens up more stuff. Let's get rid of the Steward and maybe a shitty plank. Keep the good planks. I'm so torn on plank. When it's upgraded, it's good, but you gotta pour upgrades into it. That costs money and means other things can't be upgraded. In a combo like this, their Plink isn't necessarily horrible, because there's just not much to upgrade damage, spell damage wise, so if they naturally can just be upgraded, they're pretty good, but if you have like Stygian or whatever, like people that actually want spells to have the damage, then the Plinks are just useless. Let's see, I have a lot of damage shield I can apply this turn. I can probably try for the mid-floor setup here. I did get my pit technically upgraded. Not sure why I went for that, but I did. Okay, no reform. Uh, 45 by 3. Shit. Now they're both dying. Why don't I just do this? Is it? Is it though? Oh, 
go. I don't know. You fucker. This, this, go for this or this. There's four here. I only have to hit three there. Vapor funnel should take care of. Well, no, it well, won't. Shit. Any way I can hit this guy? It doesn't look like it. Shit, so I get hit here. You bastard. You bastard. Right, let's just bring this guy back. I should put this into the pool, and then I uh, could have put it up there and not given that guy armor, whatever. Keep this on a holdover, I believe. You bastard. Snipe my ass like that. Now it's good to do this. To remember that about the stealth. That's not good. Oh, this is definitely the deck for Shroud Spike. Hell yes. Ember? Not really. We can draw, huh? I mean, we got Perils and Holdover. It doesn't make the sense to do Ember. Just keep doing stuff here. This is, I don't know, I'm starting, in this combo, maybe Alloy is like the top, tip top, you know? Would Bone Rattler with Vapor Funnel be good in any scenario? I'm trying to think that would ever make sense. Maybe if you have like a sap deck that isn't super great at sapping, I could see that maybe being good. Freeze. On um, what? Shroud Spike? I could see it on Shroud Spike. Okay. So I can do one extra. Oh, hold over. That makes that much better. Yeah, I don't think this deck is going to have much problems. Pentatent. These guys were the same as last time. They were annoying. It was Armor Trial as well. I think we still do this strategy. Though I could do it here, it looks like. Do this. I think for now, maybe I just want the damage. Yeah. Won't do the stealth. I should remove stealth, actually. I can get damage shield pretty reliably, it looks like. Shit. No, no reloading. In hindsight, I would have definitely gone up there. Not not because of the collector, but mainly just because I can't kill these guys.
Well, it came close. Shit. I'm gonna get wrecked here. Should've just went to the top. This is a le good lesson, though. Really gotta go to the top, man. This only is bad if it hits just one each. Okay, that's not bad. Okay, I can do this now. I kind of need to. And I'm not doing good. Definitely need to go to the top for sure with this build. And, uh, shit, well, I we got this on hold over at least, but that doesn't seem to be doing enough, huh? I do need to let this guy burn out. Just getting more damage. I'll tell you what, let me just... I know there's going to be no reloading in the turn of it, but I want to see just how much more powerful going in at the top would be. My thought was like, these freaking Scourges are going to be so annoying, but I dealt with it last time, so I should theoretically be fine with this time. I shouldn't. It doesn't actually matter what I get up here at this point. Kind of scale a bit. Hmm. It's about the same, it seems. Did I say I should or shouldn't? have kept the pool clean. Wow, it's actually worse. Let me... What went wrong? Wait, what went so differently there? Oh, you know what? In this case, this is good to know. I think against Penitent, I just don't. I don't do the, uh... the reform thing. Let's give you as much damage as we can, though. Reform. Yeah, this is probably what we gotta do. Alright, and I won't screw this up this time. Alright, let's bring you in the pool. Give me that boost, and then do this, then do that. Might as well have this, uh, This group, uh, probably still a problem, but I think overall it's gotta be better. I'm actually scaling continually now. Okay, we got this here. If I can somehow plink this. Yeah, I should have maybe just plinked down there. Oh, I can do this though. As good as it's gonna get, I think. These guys through. The paper funnel takes care of them. Probably 
probably need fuel more than I need this, actually. The only way I lose to this guy is if I don't have the fuel. This will definitely help with the fuel. Alright, that ought to get him. So... Problem is, last time I did this, not having to do that, I faced the penitent with the same idea, but for whatever reason, that deck was able to, to do it just fine. And I didn't even have triple multi strike and alloy in that one. I only had the, the regular two. And I crushed this one. I still set up at the top. But I did do the reforming strategy. I guess because I had it, I had aggressive edibles, so it almost didn't matter. I guess like fully all three into aggressive, so I was just getting so much more damage. I had vapor funnel as well, so it's basically I'd kill the first two tanks and just let the fire wing do it, kind of like I did there. I had feast last time too. I think feast is pretty good. Let's do feast. I think these are skips. Crushing Demise is interesting. I think I had that last time too, but I, think I just don't need it in this particular deck. Volatile Gauge. How about no? So nothing there. Another hold up. What about this? I mean, if we can make it work, we can make it work. I'm gonna remove Fingleton Smoke, I think. If I can get this double stacked, I would do it. I can put that down to zero since it's on holdover. Remove that? No. That's probably what I'll remove with the smoke I really just don't need. I really emberstone needed this since it's on holdover sure. And uh got removals. Remove that. And maybe the prismal dust. Nah, I can get a pretty good prismal dust. I gotta remove something. Just remove this. I'm gonna spend money on it. Fuck it. Um, I feel like these are like the big spikes when I am playing. I'll just leave the rest of the gold for score. Good, actually, I'll have so much frickin' damage. Then again, is this guy gonna die? It's like, how safe should it be? I don't have to be that safe. Because actually, Primordium will kill this guy, so let's just do this. Crazy, but with this on hold over, I just, you know. Alright, do that. 
check this out. I guess this isn't really going to get too insane, is it? And I have my double parallels as well. Somewhere down there, you can't see it, but there's a uh, melee weakness that I might as well remove. And yeah. Oh! Uh, why did I think it said like 3,000 damage on him or something? I was like, what? <laughs> That broken am I? Perils on holdover. And you can just take one of them out. You have five energy here. And that's a lot of stats. You know what? I'll do it this turn. And we can just put that into the reform pool. Say alloy, he, he can definitely work when you want it to. Or when he wants it to, I should say. Since I only have a few of these, I'm just gonna do these one at a time, I think. Until I can find the other thing. Oh man, really? I can't keep it on holdover. There's nothing to play it on. Bossed it, RNG. Dead. I'm even gonna feast because it doesn't make any sense to do so. That's how overkill they had you, bitch. Alright, Alloy. I have come around on you, friend. When you can work, you can work. Holy crap. It's good, because, honestly, Umbra, I've been feeling bad about their banner units, but if I have one that's now, like, enticing, or another one that's enticing to me, it's gonna help me. I'm also feeling much better about Morsel. You know, I I think I've shied away from Morsel recently, because I've had a few bad experiences with Morsel runs recently, but I just came off two killer Morsel runs in a row, both about at that 40k mark. And, uh, yeah, pretty good, I think. We'll keep, we'll keep running with it. We'll see how it goes.